Senator, on that point, I'd like for you to clarify, there are many contributing factors to high housing costs. What evidence do you have that migrants are part of this problem? Well, there's a Federal Reserve study that we're happy to share after the debate. We'll put it up on social media, actually, that really drills down on the connection between increased levels of migration, especially illegal immigration and higher housing prices. Now, of course, uh, Margaret, that's not the entire driver of higher housing prices. It's also the regulatory regime of Kamala Harris. Look, we are a country of builders. We're a country of doers. We're a country of explorers. But we increasingly have a federal administration that makes it harder to develop our resources makes it harder to build things and wants to throw people in jail for not doing everything exactly as Kamala Harris says they have to do. And what that means is that you have a lot of people who would love to build homes who aren't able to build homes. I actually agree with Tim Waltz. We should get out of this idea of housing as a commodity. But the thing that has most turned housing into a commodity is giving it away to millions upon millions of people who have no legal right to be here.